Welcome into the shop, everybody. We've got a bit of a project today. Four years ago, I bought the Gas One stove on Amazon, and it runs on butane or propane. And I've been using cylinders, uh, propane cylinders, and it's worked real well. It's been four years. It's probably cooked well over 100, 150 meals on it. Still holding up pretty good, but it's starting to kind of uh, get a little uh, a little undependable, and it really needs a thorough cleaning. I'm quite sure in the history of selling Gas One uh, dual burner stoves here, I don't think there's anyone who's probably used theirs more than I have. So I want to see if I can do a restoration and cleanup job today. Let's come down to the surface and take a look here to see what's going on. I think you can see here the uh, amount of dirt that's accumulated. Yes, and I've tried to clean it sometimes. And sometimes I've left it outside in the elements and had a sudden weather event or something. But, uh, you know, the sparkers are starting to malfunction a little bit. And... Um, just the whole thing just needs a good cleaning. Some of the connectors need to be cleaned out down here. The whole thing just needs a reworking and needs some lubrication uh, down in this particular area. You know, like cut off valves and things like that. So that's what we're going to try to do. So we're going to try to strip it down a little bit. Got to be very careful. This metal is extremely sharp here. There aren't a lot of screws that hold this together and I would like to not unscrew it all and just try to clean it and service it by just taking off you know things like the exterior you know knobs and things like that and then uh, do, you know trying to do the minimum but doing a good job here just removing some of these things to give a little bit of a deeper clean on it so let's get started I find some of this contact cleaner works well. I also have a carburetor cleaner that works on some of the gunk. But I think the first order business, I'm going to get a pot of very hot water here and get the rag and just do the basic cleaning first. I'm just using a mild solution of um, Dawn here. Dawn work, does work well on grease. I've got to be very careful. We're going to have some of the grease that's really baked on here. Like I said, I have to be awful careful here because of the sharp metal. This is not a uh, stove. It can be decomponentized, you know, taken apart easily and then reassembled for an ultra deep clean. But let's see what we can do on our first rendition here. Get some of the really worst offending stuff off of here. Paint and finish is still in good shape, but it's definitely taken a beating. But there's no reason that we can't restore this to its original glory. And what the heck, give four, get four more years of good use out of it at least. I've always been a person that believes buy it once fix it up repair it and do without right if it goes belly up that's it not a person that goes and replaces stuff uh, just because it's got a little age on it if it does the job it does the job you know regardless of what the uh, with the age so obviously we got some really cake going we're gonna let some of this solution sit in here a while and uh, go to work we'll check back with you after the first run a lot of the uh, hard crust off here I am uh, using also a copper pad to get some of the uh, heavier um, build up and it's a little difficult to get into tight spots but uh, we'll make it work Helps clean things up real good. I'll put my gloves on to 
protect my hands a little bit against sharp edges. That's like my biggest fear here. You can see I've got a lot of the really heavy concentrations really coming off pretty well now. It's taken a lot of elbow grease to work through those. That really terrible buildup that gets burned. Not burned in, but it gets baked in. Just like on the stove. You know, and I don't want to use things like Easy Off. That's like a little, little bit too caustic for me. But it's working well. To come in with the uh, bronze wool here, the bronze pad. Really helps get off some of the worst on stopping in it. And pretty much work it through from there. Establish a little, establish a little beachhead, and there it goes. Already starting to look a lot better. Yeah. Just have to remember this. If this stove could talk, all of the uh, all of the kitchen stadiums that have been done, this stove has achieved legendary status. One pan wonders. The complicated things we've made on this. Anyway, everything's, everything's turned out pretty good. I think that that's the good news. So we'll call it the lucky stove, right? And we'll just keep it rolling on. Made a lot of progress since the uh, last update. I'm in now, you know, I've done a lot of the surface cleaning. I'm in cleaning the wings here and, this, and the uh, storage base for the hoses. Trying to get that as uh, clean. I got some parts that are going to need to be uh, lubricated here. But I'm moving into the deep cleaning mode for super clean. It's looking good. Hour and a half later, the job is done. I know you're excited to see what the final product looks like. I think it amazed me myself. At the end of it, please thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and the restoration. We're back in business again with the legendary Rancho Kitchen Stadium dual outdoor burner stove from Gas One. Thanks, everybody.